everybody, welcome back. This is Intuitive Edge. Thank you for joining me. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. Today I want to take a look again at the upcoming presidential race. Curious where the contenders are, who's pulling ahead, who is doing what. We're going to take a look at this according to see what the tarot has to say about it. So I'm going to shuffle up my cards and we'll be right back. So I asked about each of the candidates, well, I narrowed it down to uh, seven, eight, seven, <laughs> seven. We've got Bernie Sanders, Liz Warren, Mayor Pete, Amy Klobuchar, Joe Biden, Michael Bloomberg, and then I left an other column to see if there's any energy on someone else. So we're just gonna look at the energies of the cards. So for Bernie Sanders, we have the Emperor card. Now, this is a major arcana. It's a pretty strong card. It's a card of a, um, a strong authority figure. Um, having that card come out for him uh, makes me wonder if he might do rather well going into the nomination process. We'll see what happens. For Liz Warren, we had the High Priestess. This one came in reversed, High Priestess reversed. High Priestess is another major arcana. So I don't know if it'll come down to Bernie and, and Liz Warren, kind of in the final top tier. Um, but hers did come in reversed, and which makes me feel that Sanders has a little bit of the edge over her. Uh, third person, Mayor Pete. Now he has a reversed two of wands i'll show it to you upright now the two of wands is about having a vision um for your future looking ahead reversals can be like i kind of see with this picture the artwork i see this person kind of looking at this globe and going huh kind of what like not sure what happened or what, looking over what happened so i'm wondering if he might kind of at some point, we're talking about the nomination, not not the next few caucuses and primaries running up to Super Tuesday and all of that. The, the ultimate nomination, okay. Um, and it may be it may be a little early to tell. There's a lot of fluidity in in the candidates and what they're what they're going through. Um, there's a lot of elements at play, and so. Next is Amy Klobuchar. She had she had the Ten of Swords that came in reversed. Not exactly a good sign for her for winning the nomination. Next was Joe Biden, and I'm not surprised by this. He got the Six of Swords. This also came in reversed. Um, this is a card of kind of having to just move on from something. Um, so, and no surprise there um, that he's been in a lot of. Uh, scrutiny <laughs> and uh, his campaign's kind of been lagging next was Michael Bloomberg now that Michael Bloomberg I tell you he had the page of cups on him this is a messenger and I there's something he's up to something he and I I picked up on that in a previous video he's got something up his sleeve with the, doing all these ads I don't sense that his heart is like completely in this but he's got an ulterior motive behind what he's doing and why. Um, I asked a separate question. Will Mike Bloomberg pick Hillary Clinton as his running mate? Because that's kind of been bantered about. I've heard rumors of that floating around the news. Interesting card showed up on that. We have the Eight of Pentacles. This is a card of working on something. <laughs> So I would say he's probably working on it. And maybe that's part of that strategic kind of feeling I get behind the scenes of working on something kind of covertly. <laughs> now, um, I did do a card for Other. And Other, we had another Swords. This came in reversed. And this is the Seven of Swords as a reversal. It's kind of like a tricky situation, kind of dealing with things that are delicate in nature. Um, I don't think that there's anybody else at this point that's 
going to be a viable option when it comes to down to the wire for the nomination. Um, that could change. We'll see what happens. Right now, it doesn't look favorable. The, the energy the, from this spread, the energy is on Bernie Sanders, um, which is <laughs> a little terrifying if you ask me. <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, that's what I see. Um, so, but now the real question, of course, is um, would any of them beat Donald Trump? And I haven't done that specifically, um, so I will get into that in another video. But underneath all of these candidates and this whole entire process, I have the Eight of Swords. Um, so I, right now with the Democrat Party the way it is, kind of being really torn apart from the inside, um, they may have some difficulty going forward trying to piece together a vision, an agenda, and a plan for their party. Um, they're, they're kind of being taken over by the communist wing. And uh, so, but we'll see what happens. Uh, that's all I've got for this. Okay. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now. Okay guys, so before you go, I gotta share some more stuff with you. I paused the video, I was getting ready to finish up the video, do the editing, and I just gotta add this. So I'm gonna take a few more minutes of your time. I gotta get this out. Um, I did some more, I did another spread again on it just to kinda see what the cards, you know, if there was anything more I could glean. So I did another spread. And I got, for Bernie Sanders, I got, again, some really strong cards. He got the Temperance card, which is a major arcana, crossed by the Page of Wands, which is a messenger about something. The outcome card on that was the Seven of Swords Reverse, which is also the card of the Thief. And the messenger, the, what, I, what I was picking up intuitively on the messenger card with that thief looking right back at it was that he once again would get the nomination stolen from him. Okay, that happened to him in 2016. We all know the superdelegates all went to Hillary and it was kind of a mess because he, he really did win. Um, anyway, that's old news, but I think that's gonna be a redux part two, okay? Then that got me to thinking, um, because I also asked about Bloomberg again um, and his idea of picking Hillary as a running mate. And I got a knight, um, but also a knight of swords and a ten of cups reversed. Um, I, there was just something again. I'm like, there's something up his sleeve. You know, why... So I thought, okay, I'm just going to ask because I've been sensing something really funky with him. Some really, like, he's got something up his sleeve. He's He's got an ulterior motive, this Bloomberg guy. So I asked point blank. I thought, okay, I'll just ask the tarot. Is Mike Bloomberg's plan, is this plan I'm sensing that he's got this ulterior motive about, is he going to run with Hillary Clinton as his vice president and then resign once he's elected into office, thereby giving Hillary Clinton the presidency? Is that his grand scheme that I'm something I'm picking up on? Is that what this is about? So I laid out 10 cards for that. Um, now, right off the bat, were two major arcanas, okay? The very first card out was the star. And the card crossing it was strength. And they weren't reversed. These two cards are extremely powerful. They're both major arcanas. Having that card on the issue and the crossing, it's like, that's it. That's his, that's his ulterior motive. And that's why I kept picking it up. He doesn't, it doesn't feel like he's wanting to be president. It's like he's doing something else. I think this is what... His plan is, his master plan, his master scheme, okay? 
Now the card on the card crowning that is the Ace of Pentacles, um, New Beginnings. Card underneath is uh, the card of Innocence, the card of uh, well, it's Innocence, not so innocent when it's reversed, but the Six of Cups came in reversed. It's got the Heartache card in the background, and I kind of thought, you know, with what's happened in the past with all of that with Hillary and that kind of fell apart for her. The future card had this options, weighing your options, looking at looking at what your possibilities are. Now again, that little thief card came up on the position of him and the king of pentacles reversed. This is this is probably the worst card you can have is an upside down king of pentacles. It means it's somebody who's being very corrupt, very greedy, um, very uh, sneaky, bad person. <laughs> so that came in on the environment around this. There's some sort of corruption around it. Then we've got the five of swords and this card at the very end. Five of Swords being like the battlefield and taking the spoils of battle. And that being like, this isn't a position of what you hope or wish for. And this is like the, like a hope or a wish is to take the spoils. In other words, take the nomination from Bernie. Now we've got this six um, on the outcome, the ultimate outcome. Now, this is a card of, I call it the give and take, but it's it's a card of somebody owing somebody something and somebody being beholden to someone else. And so I'm wondering if this is a favor that Bloomberg is giving to Hillary. Um, it would be really interesting, just as a sidebar, to know what kind of past life energy that Bernie and Hillary have, because obviously this is this is like, we're replaying 2016 all over again. Only she's she's coming in the back door. Um, I do think, from what I see in the cards, this is just me, but I do think that there may be some truth to Bloomberg, obviously wanting her as VP, but I think it's, he doesn't want the presidency. I think he's gonna give it to her once, once they're, once they get the nomination, that's their plan, you know. Um, so I just had to get that out. That's what I think. We'll see what happens, but, um, I think the momentum is with Bernie, but I don't think, again, what I saw in a previous video a while back, I saw Bernie, like, like the delegate, like the, the, the delegates being awarded to someone else. It was like they were being stolen from him again. So Part two, playing out again. All right, that's all, that's all. This is, this is a travesty. <laughs> if you think about it, I mean, this is not how elections should be in our country. They should be above board, honest, and fair. Wouldn't you think? Anyway, all right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.